Item. SCP-1314. Code name. Mimetic Universe. Object Class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures. The original copy of SCP-1314-B is to be stored in a clearly marked A4 manila envelope kept in Dr. S. office. Digital copies of SCP-1314-A and SCP-1314-B are to be stored on the standard isolated electronic repositories at Site-15, Site, Site-33, and Research Sector-15. Digital copies of SCP-1314-B are not to be stored on Foundation Intranet. Every six months, the original SCP-1314-B is to be digitally scanned at the highest resolution available and returned to storage. Any physical copies of SCP-1314-B are to be incinerated after testing. Any personnel testing SCP-1314 should carry one, one, dose of a Class A amnestic for emergency use. Description. SCP-1314-A is a set of mathematical equations describing physical behaviors in a simulated universe, the initial conditions of which are stored in SCP-1314-B. When read by a sapient organism, SCP-1314-A causes a mimetic effect dependent on the logical and spatial-temporal reasoning skills of the exposed subject. If the subject has a spatial-temporal reasoning index, 3 of above 82 and a logical reasoning index, LRI of above 93, they are implanted with a desire to search for a copy of SCP-1314-B, similar to the effect of standard mimetic obsession agents. This effect is reduced after separation from SCP-1314-A and decays entirely after approximately 8 hours without exposure. If the subject does not meet these conditions, they will repeatedly review SCP-1314-A, with the effect of raising their 3 by 0.3 and LRI by 0.1 for each minute of exposure until reaching 82 and 93 respectively. This effect has not been observed to decay and is considered permanent. SCP-1314-B is a string of hexadecimal digits interspersed with mimetic triggers. On exposure, SCP-1314-B causes a mimetic effect dependent on the last point in time that the subject was exposed to SCP-1314-A. If the time since exposure is over 8 hours, the subject is implanted with the desire to locate a copy of SCP-1314-A, which again decays over the course of 8 hours. If they have been exposed to SCP-1314-A more recently than this, then the subject enters a state of deep concentration for minutes, during which they decrypt the information stored in SCP-1314-B. The instructions for decryption of SCP-1314-B are stored in the embedded mimetic triggers. Exposure to SCP-1314-A after exposure to SCP-1314-B has no additional effect. The documents must be viewed in the correct order to result in the anomalous phenomenon. After sequential exposure to SCP-1314-A and SCP-1314-B, subjects report obsession with mentally simulating the universe described by SCP-1314. This obsession does not render them incapable of performing normal tasks if necessary, but has been reported as extremely distracting, and they will favor sitting and thinking over all other tasks. The simulated universe is three-dimensional and operates under discrete time and spatial dimensions. Light and air do not exist in this universe. Heat transfer is simulated via a modified version of caloric theory, while gravity and collisions are simulated according to Newtonian physics. Objects within this universe are either spheres or polyhedrons, where spheres are approximately three orders of magnitude larger than polyhedrons. Whenever a polyhedron is heated above 316 temperature units, it splits into two smaller polyhedrons with temperature 158 temperature units. 
Spheres do not possess upper temperature limits. This behavior results in the simulation drastically increasing in computational complexity after 29,000 time units, when a sphere with temperature in excess of 9,200. 000 temperature units collides with an asteroid belt of polyhedrons in orbit around another sphere. This causes an exponential duplication of polyhedrons. When the impact event occurs, the subject will show distress, as they need to mentally keep track of hundreds of thousands of objects simultaneously. After this point, subjects begin overwriting their previous memories to keep track of the objects. Once this space is expended, the effect spreads into more critical parts of the brain. No subject has remained capable of speech after 30,300 time units. Eventually, the subject will overwrite their involuntary muscle control, resulting in death by either asphyxiation or cardiac arrest. At any point in exposure, administering a Class A amnestic will wipe the simulation from the user's mind usually facilitating a full recovery. However, memories that are overwritten by the effect of later stages of SCP-1314 cannot be recovered. The original copy of SCP-1314 was sent via mail to Agent By. Data expunged. After she had missed work for three days, Agent was sent to investigate her disappearance. Upon finding Agent in the later stages of infection, Performing crosswords and mental exercises with the intent of delaying her calculations, Agent contained SCP-1314 and administered both Class A and Class B amnestics to Agent as a precautionary measure. Shortly after her recovery, Agent accompanied Agent in, data expunged, preventing further distribution of hazardous mimetic agents. After experimental analysis the containment of a physical copy of SCP-1314-A was deemed unnecessary, and the original was destroyed after being digitally scanned. Addendum. Request to use SCP-1314-A to increase logical and spatial temporal reasoning skills of D-class personnel for use in unrelated experiments Dr. Dart. Granted 05.